Mr. President, it's General Carville at the Pentagon on Line 5. This is Dugan. Mr. President, I'm afraid we have a heck of a situation. Hello and welcome back to the Armor with Speculation channel. I've got a little update for everybody in consideration for a move that I'll be doing at the end of the year or just a little bit into next year. I will be putting the new animation development on hold. That's why you didn't see one. Uh, let's see, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I need to save up as much money as I can to get to my new place. So that means we're going to stick to mostly topics about the Soviets, at least for the immediate future. I've got a couple of videos planned. One is the complete revamp of the Terror Drone video, probably my single most viewed video on the channel and probably one of my favorites. I really enjoyed writing that one back in the day, let's see, um, 2022, so over two years ago. And I will enjoy rewriting it and bringing the next bit of animations into it. This time I have some wonderful people in my Discord to help make it the best that it can be. I've already gotten some discussion on the topic. And with the new animations and some new skills I picked up in video making, I think it can be done very, very well. After that one, or maybe before that one, I'm not quite sure, will come a video about the Desolator, one of the best anti-service infantry in the game, Red Alert 2. I'm going to be working on that video with a upcoming video essay YouTuber that will be going by the channel name of the Biopunkist, where he will be going over biopunk fiction, going from all types of biotechnology in the real world and in science fiction or in fantasy, and it will be great. He's got a really great voice for YouTube, and I hope to feature him very heavily in the video and promote his channel, which I think will be going up sometime soon if it's not already up. We've got some great stuff in store for that video, and I think it'll be between 10 to 15 minutes long, depending on what we end up agreeing on the theory for how the weapon, primary weapon that the thing uses will work. In general, this will be a Soviet month. I want to try to get at least one video a week Maybe one, one every one and a half weeks. I don't know. I'd like to try to get it out more often. But the next one after that will be a video about the October Revolution. Be first in a several part series. I'm not sure how long it'll be yet. Where I speculate on the changes to the timeline that make the Romanov premieres in Red Alert possible. That will involve going over details about the actual October Revolution and going into details about what might have changed in history to make that happen. This video will be going into questions such as how do we look at the time travel changing the past in this case? Is uh, Do the Romanovs survive because Hitler was killed in uh, his exchange with Einstein? Or does the entire universe in the game change uh, a lot of history change because of that interaction. And I tend to lean a little bit closer to that idea since I am of the not time travel, but multi multiverse traversal theory for the how the chronosphere works in Red Alert. The next video in the series will be a video on how this new post-Stalin, post-Einstein's intervention Russia will interact with the rest of the countries in the Middle East and the Baltics. This is a very interesting thought that maybe could have its own video series of its own because if you think about it, if there was no war with Germany, then there was no partition of Germany. So that kind of changes their entire history. That means they're stuck with the Weimar Republic and it must have reformed in some way, which is very much fodder for speculation. The Desolator video itself will probably go into some of the background of Iraq, given its main position in the game, but a video on the Middle Eastern states, maybe even China, any of all the states within the World Socialist Alliance, 
will likely need a video of their own. After that will be some discussion on the terms of the post-Stalin World War II surrender, which we can glean from different unit types and restrictions that the Soviet Union has in Red Alert 2 that it didn't necessarily have in Red Alert 1 and that it didn't have in real life. So really there's like 10 different videos I can do in there and I'll probably be asking as they come out if you might want a brief interlude for other topics. We could go back into GDI, we could do a little bit of a nod video, we could do um, an allied video, we could do some of the other ones while we're doing it but for the foreseeable future I think I'll be focusing on some of the stuff that happened in the Soviet era because of how much of effect it has on the world of Red Alert 2 and Red Alert 3. You can tell me what you think about that in the comments. I hope everybody is excited for that because I am very excited to write it. Also, I'm thinking about starting a new channel to talk about a new topic, not to take away from the stuff that we're talking about in this channel. I still want to do Command & Conquer stuff. Command & Conquer is still my main fandom course but i'm thinking about starting another one to discuss another topic that might be a little bit more fresh i know that command and conquer is a lot of our favorite universes but it is um i as i've been told many times so far the games came out mostly in the 90s and there aren't a lot of um let's say people of the same demographic of age as me who are still into the games. Most of my age group that I that I get on the channel in my demographics is north of 25, usually a north of 30. And so I'd like to get some new blood in here, topic, talk about an equally interesting topic, but one that might help to start getting me on the road to be able to pay for things with the channel. I don't expect to post very often on the other one. I still want to be posting at least twice a week, twice a week, I mean twice a month with this channel. So it'll be a little bit of an in addition kind of a thing, but I will be trying to post something on the new channel. Topic wise, I'm not entirely sure what to choose yet. I'm a tremendous fan of Glenn Cook's novels, the, the Black Company in particular. It is just the most amazing book series, I think, ever, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I read, you know, admittedly, I haven't read The Lord of the Rings yet, and I've read the Black Company series at least 18 times all the way through, so I might be a little bit biased, but I definitely think it is the most phenomenal fantasy series that I've ever come across and I have read a lot. So that might be a topic. I also have a lot of interest in history. I went to university to get a ancient history degree and my specialization, you might say, the era that I know the most about and I'm the most fervent about would be ancient history in the Mediterranean and the Middle East. I'm writing a novel series called Force Echo about a sort of alternate history thing that happens in the time period surrounding Hatshepsut's reign, which is around 1400, 1450 BCE. She's my favorite pharaoh, and it includes a lot of my favorite nations of that time period, including Assyria, Babylon, the Hittites, Minoan Crete, and Canaan. I'll eventually get done editing those and release them. And if you're interested, you can ask me for more information and maybe I'll post something about that. But coming back to it, I really enjoy history. I, ha I own a lot of history books and I'd love to talk about some of the concepts that I find really fascinating about these ancient cultures that don't get talked about often enough. For instance, I find Assyria incredibly interesting. They are one of the most powerful and influential nations of all time, but 
hardly anyone today actually knows anything about them. We hear a lot about the Persian Empire, the Achaemenid Persians, but we don't hear almost anything about the Assyrians, and here's a bit of a hot take. I don't think the Persians could have ruled that area successfully for as long as they did without the Assyrians doing what they did to conquer the area. The Assyrians were just superior to them in every way except that they eventually failed. And I find their culture, their history, their military techniques, all of that stuff incredibly interesting and I'd love to talk about that more in depth. I'm also a huge Roman fan. I am ethnically British and Roman myself, so I would love to talk about their history and Realistically speaking, a lot of what I'd be doing would be talking about actual historical events as well as doing alternate history series because alternate history is basically why I wanted to get the degree in the first place. Anyway, I did really mean for this channel update to take 10 minutes plus to get to the point, but there will be new videos coming out. I am working on them actively and I hope everybody really enjoys them. I'm going to be sticking to Soviet topics for the most part for the immediate future. I hope to get maybe one, uh, one and a half videos out every two weeks. I would love to be able to do that. And I'm looking for new topics that um, I would love if somebody suggested some new topics too, because um, I'm actually kind of interested in the future on this channel to do topics for upcoming RTSs to do some more videos for new RTSs, which I know is not really going to solve the popularity problem considering that these RTSs, uh, the RTSs in general aren't super popular these days, but is definitely something that I want to do because a lot of these things look just ph phenomenal, just fantastic. Anyway, Anyone that is interested should join the Discord. I'll see if I can remember this time to put the Discord link in the description and talk to particularly Bad Guy 292, Dragon Magics, and Jeffrey Cuddle Trousers. Those three have been particularly incredible in helping me with coming up with the new videos, but everybody has been helping quite a lot in coming up with some of the more interesting details that I wouldn't have thought of that make it into the videos. So I want, really want to shout out to all of them in helping to make everything that I've come up with in the last couple of weeks really successful. I really owe them a lot and I really appreciate everybody taking the time out to help me out. Uh, if you're interested, I have a Patreon. I am not the best at pay, you know putting everything up when I should, but I... We'll try to rectify that and, you know, any little bit helps. I really want to be able to do this full time in the future. And I know I need to get the channel a lot larger before that happens, but anything you decide to throw my way would just be really, really spectacular. Anyway, thank you very much. This has been Game Master Carrick signing off. Hope to talk to you another time. Bye.